Welcome back, covering your community, Lights for Hope, a nonprofit organization showcasing holiday light displays right here in South Florida. They have worked with local hospitals to bring joy to children and families during their toughest times. Joining me now is Megan Buser, Community Relations Director for Lights for Hope. Thanks so much Hi. for being here Thank with us. Thank you for us. having us. Thank you for having us. So for people who aren't familiar with the organization mm -hmm. Lights for Hope, tell us about it. Lights for Hope is a nonprofit organization that's been around for almost seven years. They started because they wanted to start helping local families that are coping, coping with their child's terminal illness or life-changing physical changes. Things like uh, children being in car accidents and being confined to wheelchairs, obviously the financial and mental stress of that becomes too much for families and that's why the organization has become so effective. And you were telling me that uh, before COVID you kind of worked with hospitals mm -hmm. directly, but now you're just doing more one-on-one -on -one with the families. I can only really imagine what that means mm -hmm. to the families mm -hmm. to have that, that kind of support and that kind of attention. Mm -hmm. The thing I love about Lights for Hope is they're very connected with the families that they've helped. They've gotten a lot of referrals, we've seen a lot of things on social media, so they've been able to connect with families that are going through remission with their kids that have been battling cancer for seven years or that are confined to wheelchairs from car accidents. So not only do they deliver to uh, children's hospitals, but we really connect with the families by finding out what that family really needs. It's not just for the child, but it's for the entire family to bring them joy and relief. And you guys year. are going to be able to do something even more special happening this weekend where yes. people can take part and, and all the proceeds will go right back to Lights for Hope. Yes, yes. For the very first time ever, Lights for Hope is doing a family fun night and stroll through the lights on November 24th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Okihili Park and this is a chance for everybody to come and enjoy um, the lights on foot or they can come and just enjoy our family fun night which is also bounce houses, food trucks, uh, movies, train rides, vendors, everything you can think of all in one spot. Really a great way to kick off the holidays and proceeds do go back. Children under five are free and uh, tickets are $20. And again, you're knowing that you're going to have a magical time during the holidays while giving back to a great organization. And Megan, you know, we, we always have such wonderful organizations on our 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. newscast here talking about all the amazing things they mm -hmm. do for the community. And we always hear proceeds go right back mm -hmm. to the organization. Where does that money exactly go? Can you give us some examples of, you know, how you guys are able to help families mm -hmm. with those funds. I, yeah, so we really connect with the families and try to find out exactly what they need. So for example, once a year we invite the families to come to the Mall at Wellington Green to the community studio where we have a family only event. And it's a chance for us to shower the families with gifts and uh, relief and entertainment. And we invite our sponsors to enjoy that as well. Southern Septic's been a huge sponsor for us in All Sean Valley Allstate was a huge sponsor, is a huge sponsor of ours and they were there. They get to connect with the families and really know that their money is going back and bringing joy and relief to these families that need it so much during the holidays and, and year round. What goes through your mind when you just see the smile on those kids' faces? It is incredible. I've worked with a lot of organizations and I can tell you that Lights for Hope, they do everything. They produce the holiday light show at uh, Okihili Park for six weeks for you to drive through, which kicks off on Black Friday. They create all those attractions. They're a small team, but they're doing it for the right reasons, and they really, truly give back to those who need it most. And you can feel it when you see the smiles on their faces and when you just see the photos. It's just, it's an incredible organization, and there's so many more to reach. Well, thank you for your time today. If you want more information on the event going on this weekend, head to our website, WPBF.com. All the information is there, including a link where you can buy your tickets. Again, that's WPBF.com.